Welcome to Opening Acts here at 1871, Chicago's new digital startup hub. Uh, I have here the founder of Blitzy, Ross, great to have you here. Thank you for having me. You can share with everybody, what is Blitzy? So I'm co-founder of Blitzy. I uh, started the company with my twin brother and my sister. Uh, we sell craft supplies online. We're an arts and crafts platform that is displacing the large and archaic big box craft retail market. So what would be, who are the top players for those who might not be crafters? So Michaels, Joann's, Hobby Lobby, AC Moore, uh, those would be sort of the, the typical brick and mortar box retailers that I'm referring to. And then there's sort of a number of other players that are storing, sort of coming in through the social media side um, where arts and crafts has become really uh, top segment within sites like Pinterest and elsewhere where there's no real set e-com strategy, whereas we are selling the craft supplies that are very difficult to find, um, whether you're buying it through an actual independent craft retailer, um, the box retailers, and or online. So is, what's make, what makes your uh, solution different? Is it, is it price? Is it curation? What, what, what makes your value proposition different? So we, uh, we are highly curated, and we do limited time, limited quantity sale events. So when we started the company, uh, in order to get going and bootstrap the company, we focused very heavily on selling paper crafting supplies, which is uh, about 20% of the arts and crafts market, which is considered a $30 billion industry. Um, but uh, basically, we're unique in that we at least sell craft supplies online. It's an extremely fragmented space, um, so there's not a lot of competition with regard to um, having a really great uh, presence and just in general offering and product breadth. Got it. Great. Well, and you, I, I know from, they came to Chicago Ventures where I'm on the investment committee recently, and I, you do a great job of getting um, recurring customers. Customers come back, and of course, in an e-commerce model, that's 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 the key secret of success. Frankly, the opposite of what the flash sale sites do. Yeah. What do you think the secret to that success is? Well, I mean, I think there's a number of things. We've invested pretty heavily on customer service and just making sure that we do right by the customer in general. We're really training a lot of these customers who are used to buying online elsewhere, um, trying to just get them off um, selling from, uh, buying from the brick and mortar and, and um, buying online. We have a 57% repurchase rate if you buy one time from us. If you buy two times from us, you're more than 70% likely, and it goes on up from there. I think that you know, right now, and part of the reason why we, joined, why we started this, um, I, I actually had a previous company called Scrap HD that we sold to Michaels, which hadn't sold a single craft supply online um, while I was there and you know, ever. So they're a $4.5 billion company, and it just so happens that as of today, they started selling craft supplies online. So congratulations <laughs> to them for that. Um, but the reality is um, you can't find these products um, in a lot of places. So I think what's happening is there's this shift going on from, uh, from you know, basically the, the brick and mortars are just getting bigger. You've got a lot of the independent retailers that are not able to, uh, to purchase a lot of the newest supplies that are going out. Um, and then you've got a lot of the borders that used to, to exist between a lot of the physical stores and the suppliers um, that have been wiped away because of online. Um, so a lot of the biggest players, they started spinning up private label websites, um, places you know, basically throughout the web that none of us would really know about, that you can buy your craft supplies. Um, but they're actually being supplied oftentimes by, uh, by companies that are competing with those very own independent retailers. So we wanted to create a service that could partner directly with these manufacturers, give them access direct to consumer without them having to bring on social media experts and people who can figure out how to navigate the web. Got it. Great. What can you tell us about Traction? Obviously, you're a private company. You don't want to tip your hand too much, but what can you tell everybody here about the great Traction sure. you're getting? Sure. So um, when we started the company, um, initially we started the company with $40,000, and we just bootstrapped that to a, a little over a million dollars in revenue in our first 12 months. Um, we launched the company in November of 2011. Uh, once we receive funding, we actually received funding from Chicago Ventures last year um, uh, to the tune of around a million dollars, um, along with Lake West Venture Partners. Uh, and then uh, we had some other participants like Firestarter Fund and some, some others. That money helped us um, grow to over 300,000 Facebook followers, uh, which a lot of that has come organically. Um, and then from a revenue standpoint, I, I'm okay with sharing this because we're an open community, right? And we're, we should be doing uh, between four to five million dollars this year annually. Fantastic. In such a short time, that's great. Great success. One, one last question, you know, I'm, I'm sure in a few years you'll be taking Sam's spot up there and telling the, the full full story, but uh, for when you get there, what's that vision? What, what, what will Blitzy, what do you aspire for Blitzy to be 
What does success uh, for this company look sure. like out in time? I mean, we plan to be the industry leader in selling arts and crafts supplies online. Um, we also plan to bring it at home, but not necessarily through brick and mortar retailers. But I mean, essentially, we think we could be the Amazon of selling craft supplies online. Um, and so, you know, my hope is to take this thing to being genuinely a billion dollar plus enterprise. Fantastic. Well, you're off to a great start. Really exciting. Thank Thanks you for very sharing. much. Thank you. Appreciate it.